At the Singapore Air Show, today we are at Saab. Saab is one of the global players in the defence industry. And we have the opportunity to speak to Rob, Head of Marketing Communications, Region Asia. Can you just share with us what's your story in Singapore? Well, Singapore is our home in uh, this part of the world. As, as you said, we are a, a global company. Obviously, our roots are in Sweden, but we are present all over the world. And Singapore is our headquarters for Asia. From here, we look after all of our country offices from India to Australia to New Zealand to Japan and all places in between. We are active in pretty much every country in this region. You will find Saab people and Saab products pretty much in every part of this region. And given that uh, populations are growing, budgets are growing, requirements are growing, this is uh, an intensely, rapidly developing part of the world. It's an important part of our market. And it's where we see a great future for Saab because the appetite for new technology and for new solutions here is almost insatiable. And Saab, we are the pioneers of new technologies across air, land and sea. You've been serving very well, for instance, countries like Thailand. Saab has got a strong presence in the Thai armed forces. Could you share with us more of your products and services offered to them? Yes, we are very proud of what we've achieved in Thailand. Saab, Sweden and the Royal Thai Armed Forces have together developed something that's, that's, that's really unique. It is really an exceptional level of capability that the Thai Armed Forces have because with Swedish support, they have fielded the Gripen fighter, they have fielded the ERI Airborne Early Warning uh, Command and Control System, but they've also integrated those systems in a national data network. It's a net-centric system that covers the entire territory of Thailand that links their air assets to their navy assets using a, a national high-speed data link system that's owned and controlled by Thailand. And what it gives the Thai command authorities is an incredible amount of situational awareness over everything that's happening in their area of responsibility. And it really is a system without equal in this part of the world delivered, supported and maintained by Sweden for Thailand. And can you share with us a bit more with transfer and technology as well? Yes, we are uh, very proud also of our record of transfer on technology. We would say that it's second to none. A lot of companies, all the companies in this business say they do transfer of technology, but is it meaningful? Is it useful? Does it put a long-term new capability into the hands of the customer? Very few people have actually done that in the way Saab has. If you look at what we've done in Brazil, for example, with the Gripen fighter program, where we've built an entire new national design and development capability, that's a pretty unique achievement in transfer of technology. If you look at Australia as a great example in this part of the world, we have a 30-year success story there that started as a rather modest technology transfer program to uh, put a combat management system into a new class of ships, which was then the new Anzac frigates. That was 30 years ago. That's now grown to uh, a center of excellence in Australia where several hundred people, all Australians, are employed to design and develop the next generation and the next generation of that system, which is mandated for every vessel in the Royal Australian Navy. Every single vessel has that Saab system, but it's a Saab system delivered from Australia, for Australia, by Australians. So there has been a complete transfer of that technology into Australian hands to deliver a national capability for which the next step hopefully will be to export to new customers outside Australia. And that's the real definition of transfer of technology. Have you got something meaningful that you can use and develop further? And Saab is very proud and happy to say that we are second to none in that respect. Um, is there anything going on for the Indonesian market, if you can share something with us on that? In Indonesia remains a, a, a fascinating market, a complex market, but as you say, it's a, a huge dynamic economy, uh, it's, a, it's a growing population, it has some clear needs for, for national defence. Um, we see opportunities there to help uh, deliver an increased level of situational awareness. Uh, so systems like the ERI, Airborne Early Warning System, have a clear application for safeguarding Indonesian territory, for delivering a new level of awareness of what's going on, what's happening over the horizon. 
Uh, that's definitely something that we've been talking about. Uh, Indonesia is a, a customer of ours for systems like the RBS-70. Air defense system, the next generation of that system is now here. That's something that we could also talk to and, and hope to expand. These are the same conversations that we're having with many potential customers in this part of the world. Can I just touch you on the Malaysian market, if at all? Is there anything going for the Malaysian market? Malaysia, Malaysia also remains uh, uh, an, an interesting, potentially interesting market for us. And Malaysia has expressed uh, many needs and, and requirements over the years. Saab has many solutions that m match those. We can see that, like a lot of countries, there are priorities in budgets now that need to be addressed and resolved. But Saab is, of course, ready and able to do business in Malaysia and any of the countries in, in this region. We are here for the long term. We have been here for decades and we will be here for decades to come. Yeah. So because I see that aviation spending is just going bigger and bigger years, year on year, so there's obviously a very big, huge presence needed by companies like Saab to be here and working very closely with the countries collectively in Asia. So. Yes, I mean, we're at Singapore Air Show and a lot of the focus is on, is on military systems, but you shouldn't forget, you know, more important in many ways is the civil air transport market. And Saab, we are leaders in air traffic control and air traffic management, revolutionary systems like the digital tower and some of the very advanced capabilities that you can see on our stand are of huge interest. We have a, a solid installed base in airports and with air traffic service providers all across the world and all across this region. And we're looking to expand that constantly. And we are constantly expanding it. I should also add in maritime traffic as well. This is such an important aspect of global trade that touches on so many countries here. And it's another cornerstone capability to put this level of new technology into managing the skies and the seas across this region. Right. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for your time here. Despite the virus outbreak, you have made it, you made it here? No, we're, we're here. Pleased to be here. We've uh, had a good time at the show and we're glad we came. I'll see you again. Thank you, Take Rob. Care. Thank you. Thanks.